I was like, Sorry. Nice. You're good. I was definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely good. Flowing, man. I was in my groove. You had me going there. <laughs> good morning, Tucson, and welcome to The Connection, brought to you by Corner Connect at Realty Executives. I'm Richie, and I've got Chad Casper with Pillar to Post Home Inspections today. He's going to walk us through some of the things that he does for buyers and sellers. Chad. Why would someone use a home inspector if they're buying or selling, and what kind of services do you provide? Yeah, so the home inspection is a visual inspection of all the structural and mechanical functions of the home. Right. So we basically check up to 1,600 different items on the home, and we provide you with a, a comprehensive list or a comprehensive report of all the findings of the home, the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. And so really why you wanna do that is, the home is the largest purchase of your career, of your life. And so you really, really wanna make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck, that you're knowing exactly what you're getting into. It's almost like a test drive of a car. Yeah. You know, you get a test drive of the house, we get to come in, check out all the major workings of the home. Cool. Now, I know that some inspectors won't hit all the systems of the house. They may not hit termite inspections or roofing. Do you guys do those kind of services? Absolutely, we are a one-stop shop for all their home inspection needs. So if there's something that needs to be done during the home inspection, more than likely we offer it or we are gonna be offering it. But one of the things that we do offer is termite inspections in-house. We also do sewer scoping, pool inspections, mold and radon testing. You radon testing too, that's yeah. awesome. And it's actually National Radon Testing Month or National Radon Month. <laughs> so a little bit of plug for that. <laughs> How long does it take for a home inspection? Typically most home inspections are about two and a half to three hours. Okay. We are pretty thorough. We don't skimp, we don't cut corners. So we wanna make sure we're doing a good job for the client, making sure they're getting the best value for their money. And so typically about, I would say most homes is about two and a half to three hours. Okay, cool. Anything larger than that, more complex properties, I do have a team of inspectors, so we can usually throw like two, three, four guys on there if we need to. Now I've used you in the past on multiple transaction. You guys are super fast, professional, very efficient. Can you tell the viewers what you provide? You have a little binder that you send out, you send out <laughs> videos to them direct to email as well. What can you tell them about that? Yeah, so we provide our reports in three different ways. First one was we do a printed copy on site for the buyer and then we do the electronic PDF version for the agent and the client same day and then we have some new technology where we actually use 360 degree technology. We take 360 shots of all the rooms of the house inside and out and it integrates with our inspection software. So you get a virtual report of the home which is really freaking cool. Now buyers, super important to get a home inspection that way you can know what you're walking into. But sellers and even people who aren't buying and selling, they may have use for inspections as well. What can you mm -hmm. tell sellers or even someone who's just want to update their house? Yeah, we actually get a lot of people that call us and just say, hey, I've been in my house for five, 10 years. I really don't know what's wrong with it. I really don't know what I need to be aware of. So we're an unbiased third party. I don't care if I find a million things wrong or nothing wrong, I still get paid the same and we're still gonna provide the same service and value. So, um, but yeah, we do recommend that we, if you're gonna be listing your house, that you have what's called a pre-listing inspection or a market ready inspection. And so we've actually updated some of our inspection software to help with the marketing and selling of the home on a pre-listing to where we can highlight the positives of the home and help you, the seller, address some of the things that need to be addressed so you can get your house sold faster for more money. And you guys can check square footage as well, represent that, right? That's more of an appraiser, okay. but with our 360 technology, we can actually create floor plans, measured floor plans of the home. Okay. So it's actually the room dimensions, not, not square foot. Understood. And the last thing, I know that you guys have a couple different packages that you offer, as well as kind of a la carte options as well. Yep. What can you tell the viewers? Yeah, so we actually offer three different inspection packages. We call them the three Ps, the plus, the premium, and prestige. The plus package is your standard home inspection. We're gonna check all the required items by the state of Arizona. And we're gonna provide you the customer, the, the, the printed report, as well as the virtual report and all that fun stuff. From there, the, they kind of build off of one another. So the premium inspection, that's actually my favorite package because you get an infrared scan of the home, you get the measured floor plan, you get an appliance safety recall check and some other great bells and whistles, and you get a 15% discount on any added services, which would be the termite, the sewer, the mold, the pool, and things like that. Excellent. And I think now would be a good time to kind of walk people through about what you do. Yeah, let's yeah. go find let's some Let's do stuff. it. All right. All right, Chad Casper, Pillar of Coast Home Inspectors, the Casper team. So we're gonna be looking at an HVAC system. This is gonna be the heating system, a furnace. 
So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna visually kind of give a once over of the unit to make sure it's safe and functional and just being able to like get in and actually look at things. And so one of the first things that I'm gonna notice is the gas line shut off valve, the emergency shut off valve, this handle is actually broken. So that is something that we would definitely note on our report. Um, making sure that everything is plumbed correctly with a sediment trap. Um, and then once I check everything out, I'm gonna safely remove the cover and we're gonna take a look at the inner workings of the system. Uh, we don't actually have the system on today, but I would usually check the burners, make sure we have that nice blue flame, make sure that that's functioning properly, and then we would check on the inside of the home, making sure that each room is getting sufficient airflow, sufficient heating. So we're just gonna give a once over of all this, and once we've done that, we're gonna take a picture of the data plate to note the age, so you know how old the unit is, because there is a certain life expectancy with most of the mechanical workings of the home. So another good home maintenance tip is you always want to regularly check your air filter. Depending on your home, these are going to be found in different places, but this one is actually just right under the furnace and air handler. And so you will just slide that out, pull that out. You can see there's a decent amount of dust on there. Not terrible. I've definitely seen worse, but these you want to change every month of the home. It's, it's actually going to help the system work better and for longer. And it's actually just going to help your cooling capacity. You want to be, getting filters that are not super tightly woven. You don't want the HEPA filters because those actually restrict airflow and it's gonna cause the system to overwork itself. So something like this, that's just a single white pleat would actually work perfect. Uh, again, one of the major areas we look at is the electrical components of the home. And your electric panel is actually kind of the main brain of that system. And so this is one of the things that we do look for. And so before I remove the dead front cover, I wanna make sure it's not charged. So I actually already did that. Um, but what we're looking for here is just make sure everything is wired correctly and compatible. And a few things that I just noticed is there's actually a couple of breakers that are double tapped, so two wires going into one breaker, which can cause them to overload uh, and potentially cause house fires. There's also a couple of neutral wires that are double tapped on the bus bar. Again, those wires, those lugs are only designed to have one wire going into them, so when you have multiple wires, they can actually cause those to go loose and then cause arcing, sparking, and other terrible bad things that you don't want with your electric panel. So I also noticed a couple of breakers are mismatched. Uh, a couple of wire sizes are incorrect. Again, you wanna have a professional electrician come in, correct these things before you purchase the house. So also in our premium package, we include an infrared scan. So basically what we'll do is we'll do an infrared scan of the panel and seeing anything that the naked eye wouldn't pick up. And so what we're looking for with this, elect with this IR scan is any, any electrical components that are overheating or miswired. So we'll actually be able to pick up some crazy hot spots, even some tails coming off some of these wires. So another important thing that you need to consider when buying a home is your termite inspection. It's actually called a wood destroying insect or a WDRDI report. Uh, so one of the things that we're gonna look for is any conducive conditions for termites and evidence of termite activity. So here on this house here, you can see that there's actually a planter box that is actually abutting the structure. And so this will cause us to not be able to see any evidence of termites because they are subterranean. And everybody here in Tucson gets termites. In fact, there's only two types of termites in Tucson. The ones that you have, the ones you don't know you have. And so those subterranean termites, if those planter boxes are there, will sneak into the house and you won't even know they're there. So you really wanna just get rid of those and keep those away from the home. All right, so during the termite inspection, one of the main things we're gonna look at is the stem wall around the house or the foundation. And usually you wanna have about four to six inches visible. And the reason for that is termites, well, again, they are subterranean, so they're gonna build little tunnels that come up along your foundation wall and then get into the house. We're basically gonna do a scan all the way throughout the perimeter of the property looking for any evidence of termite tubes coming on up. Now again, they are pretty easily treatable. All really your termite companies are gonna do is treat around the perimeter and the termites are gonna pass through within a 24 hour period and they'll be eliminated. So again, one of the features that I talked about was that P2P 360 or that virtual home inspection report. This is actually our 360 camera here. You have lenses on either side of the camera and so each lens will shoot 185 degrees in every direction and then it stitches the two images together. So with our software program on our iPad when we're doing the inspection report, we just come in, set up the camera, leave the room and hide and then click the button and we can shoot an entire house in 10 to 15 minutes. I'm Richie with Corner Connect at Realty Executives. This is Chad Casper with Pillar to Post. If you want to get a hold of us, our information is right here. Chad, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much, Richie. Appreciate it. We'll Pleasure. see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2275 West Lambert Lane in Oro Valley, Arizona, 85742. 
This beautiful masterpiece is 3,100 square feet, four bedrooms, four bathrooms on 2.06 acres built in 2023. Two of the guest bedrooms have their own private bathrooms, making this layout very versatile and private. Beautiful flooring throughout, wide open space in the main living area, master bedroom with the French doors, beautiful master bath, check out the jacuzzi tub, huge, huge closet. Let's take a look outside, plenty of privacy in your backyard. Plenty of space between properties, beautiful mountain views, stunning architecture. If you want to find out how to make this beautiful place your home, comment or send me an email. I'm Richie Keith with Corner Connect at Realty Executives.